you can go ahead. Perfect, thank you. So good afternoon. Thank you everyone for attending this webinar. My name is Aisha and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about attracting the Canadian traveler. I'm here with Steve Marshall and Lauren Thompson who will be telling you a little bit more about our company later on. So to begin, Canada Stays is a business, has been in business for approximately 10 years. We are backed by Rogers and Toronto Star, and we are Canada's largest vacation rental marketplace. With that being said, we have over 100,000 properties, over 11,000 destinations, and, over, and are located in over 60 countries globally. So the Canadian path to purchase, destinations that are considered, Canadians travel on average 2.8 times a year. Their travel destinations skew more internationally with 59% versus 41% domestically in Canada. The Canadian traveler is most likely to look a lot of the time, or sorry, to take a lot of time and consideration in determining where they will go. As shown in this infographic, on the left, destinations considered lean more towards the international travel. In regards to destinations that are actually booked, a lot of places, a lot of the places that stand out the most are Cuba, Mexico, and other tropical destinations. During the, our winter season, if we are not traveling to hit the powdery hills, we are definitely looking for more sunshine. Factors influencing destination choices. Out of this list, the four major influencing factors to keep an eye out for in regards to Canadian travelers are travel costs, accommodations, reviews, ratings, and acti activities to do. So when it comes to travel costs, Canadians like to have a budget and when they're searching for a place to go, they are going to try and stay within that budget. So they wanna know, does this listing or this property fit within a budget? And then they'll go from there. Another key thing are reviews and ratings. So they want to know what other people thought about the property. Did these past travelers have good experiences, bad experiences? Reviews have such a huge impact on potential travelers' decisions to book. Research actually shows that you can increase the chances of a booking four times with just one review. And for accommodations, I'm gonna explain a little bit more about that in the next slide. So ideal accommodation characteristics that are to keep in mind are good value for money, practical amenities. Uh, so do you have a kitchen, laundry facilities, how many washrooms, uh, lots of room and space for everyone, depending on how many people are traveling, they wanna know that there will be accommodations for everyone. Does it feel like home? And does it have character or charm? Because everyone, even though they're leaving their house, they still want to be very comfortable. So a little bit about the Canadian vacation rental traveler. Here are some stats. The age and sex demographic. Steve will talk a little bit more in detail in a few minutes. Uh, but to begin with, Five days is the average stay of a Canadian traveler, and their group ranges from about five people. Depending on the season, uh, people will book about 25 days in advance for summer and 100 plus days in advance for winter. Now going into the demographics. So as you can see here, there are the families, the millennials, and the Zoomers. So I'm gonna start with the families. Families tend to be price sensitive, love drivable locations. They often travel with other families and look for value for group travel, value convenience, and nearby attractions activities for the family. Uh, they will also travel in peak times over school breaks, so one to two weeks of a holiday, and they start planning very, very early. The next one are millennials. The millennials are between ages of are willing to pay for 
and experience look into when they're planning their travel is food, drink, and major events. As well, they follow and start destiny, sorry, they follow and start travel de destination trends. And they're more flexible to book longer trips or take advantage of last minute weekend trips or travel deals. And finally, the Zoomers. So the, this group is less sensitive. They value privacy and relaxation. They're able to travel in off season for more extended periods of time. And they often spend three to six months in warmer climates. They may have second properties in warmer destinations as well. So I'm gonna go into more detail about the Canadian millennial traveler. I'm focusing on this because they are shaping the future of travel. When talking about this group, I just wanna make it clear that I'm focusing on millennials in the 25 to 34 age range. These individuals are young professionals with a steady income and who are willing to spend more money on trips. This demographic is one that you definitely need to keep an eye on. They are very loyal, and if they enjoyed their first experience at a location, they will be more likely to come back to it again. So, some things that attract the millennial traveler. So, because they are tech savvy and stay ahead of travel trends, often creating the initial buzz around emerging spots, they really like the YOLO, or you only live once, once in a lifetime experience, and any photo worthy destinations. So a lot of the time they will keep in mind or will look, look for culinary experiences, culture, shopping, festivals, concerts, anything and everything that they can take a photo, photo of is definitely something that they're looking into when they're looking for travel. Now I'm gonna go into 10 things you can do to implement now to grow your Canadian bookings. So first, updating your listing seasonally. Your photo should reflect the season. And because Canadians book about 25 days in advance for um, any travel in the summertime, it's good to have your listings seasonally updated within six months before, or up to about six months for the winter and about three to four months for summer. Also because families start planning earlier, uh, millennials can be a little bit more last minute, but it's good to have a, a bit of a window so that when people are looking at your property, they know what it looks like in the season. Next, ensure your pricing is competitive. So you can look into different or look at the prices of your competition, as well as offering deals or discounts. If travelers want to stay a little bit longer, Canadians love deals. So if you were offering a deal to them for staying a little bit longer, they would love that. Turn on instant book. Canadian travelers are looking for easy and instant booking. They don't really want to wait for approvals. Uh, if they have to wait an extended period of time, they will potentially go forward with another listing. Maximize the capacity. So for this one, Canadian travelers, they tend to travel in about five, a group of five, and uh, often ships south of the border into South America and in, involve a large group of friends. So when looking at a property, they want to know can you accommodate the size of their group? Do you have a pullout couch? Do you have enough bathrooms, enough showers? All of these things need to be listed in your amenities so that people know if they can stay at your property. The next one is offering late checkout. Canadians love to take advantage of the last day of a trip or a lazy Sunday. So if you offer a deal for a longer stay, they would definitely take advantage of that. Uh, also offering a late checkout option. And we've seen an increase in 20% of bookings when an, a later checkout has been given. List all relevant amenities. So this also plays into the maximized capacity, but uh, in regards to demographics, 
you need to kind of think of your target audience. So if you want families to come, you should list all the amenities that a family would want to know. Um, are there bunk beds in a room? What type of bed is used? Um, what's in the area? What's around that can relate to the family? Um, also, are there recreational things like bikes or water sports if you're on a cottage on a lake? Or games, family activities, is the property energy efficient or green? Number seven is highlight proximity to outdoor activities. Canadians love the outdoors and embrace them even in the winter. So is there, is the property minutes away from great hikes, lakes, key attractions? And in the summertime, is there golf, fishing, hiking, biking, the list goes on and on. Anything you can think of, you should list it or highlight it. Spotlight top nearby food and drink spots. So Canadians are huge foodies and embrace food tourism. Uh, is there any property near, is the property near great restaurants, bars, markets, or food trucks? Or are there near, nearby wineries and breweries? If so, you can possibly partner with them and then get some deals if you're sending people who are staying at your property to these locations. Next is to curate a local experience. Canadians are more eager or likely to seek out local experiences that are different from their own. So things to keep in mind, uh, offer guided tours, discounts at local restaurants, businesses, cultural and natural attractions. You could also leave a little welcome gift for them, like a local item, craft beer, wine, treats, or an in-rental experience. Is there a fitness center in the city, a private yoga lesson, et cetera, et cetera. And finally, optimize your listing headlines. The title of your listing is the first thing a traveler will see when they search a desired destination. It is extremely important for your title to be short and to the point, but extremely informative. So I have a bit of an example uh, of a good one, which would be cozy chalet with beautiful views of the lake instead of one bedroom chalet in Muskoka. Now I'm going to pass it on to Steve, who is going to tell us a little bit more about reaching the Canadian tra traveler through Canada stays. Thank you, Aisha, and uh, good afternoon. Um, so, Aisha already spoke a little earlier with regards to that a little bit more. Um, first and foremost, we're looking at approximately between four and five and a half million uh, visitors to the city on a yearly basis. And this essentially, <clears throat> excuse me, translates into approximately million page views per year, uh, per year. So that's you know a lot of travelers they're coming to the site and you know looking for their destinations. The average person or traveler rather that is looking at Canada sites, they usually visit somewhere in the range of three and a half to five pages per visit. So you know it's important to put your best foot forward and you know as Aisha already said, make sure your your listings look great, sound great, you know have great titles with them. Something else of note is that we have approximately 75,000 uh, visitors that come to us via social media, and that includes you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, all those fun things. Now, in terms of the audience themselves, the first thing you're gonna notice when you look at the pie chart uh, up there is that we tend to skew more towards a female audience. So 60% of the audience is female. Um, and something else, and again, this is something that Aisha had already spoken to, but we're kind of going to get into a little bit more, is the demographic. Now, as uh, Aisha mentioned, we, we do tend to skew towards, we, have, we cater for millennials, you know, families, you know, young professionals, and Zoomers. But we When you look at professionals, essentially a much more well-heeled clientele. Um, 
customers that approximately have somewhere in the range of 75,000 plus annual household income. So these are essentially the people that you want to be attracting to your, uh, you know, to your properties. So you know, it's really essential that you know if that's the target audience you're looking for. Canvas Space is going to bring that to you. Um, you'll also notice that about 82% of our traffic originates from Canada, uh, with the remaining percentages from the U.S. and you know international uh, destinations like. So what are the benefits of advertising with Canada States? That's actually a really good question and I'm happy to answer that for you. Uh, much broader distribution. Uh, when we speak of Canada States, there's something I really want to you know, sort of drive home. It's not one state. Canada States is part of a huge network. Um, as Aisha had already mentioned, you know, we have lots of partnerships that we work with, most notably HomeAway and uh, you know, the Expedia family there of, uh, of states. So when a customer is listing their property on Canada Space, you are reaching multiple other states and casting a very broad net that originates in Canada, but goes a lot wider. Uh, there are multiple booking options. Uh, you as again, as Aisha mentioned, there is the instant booking uh, function, which is very, very popular with people. They are looking to book properties the same way that they would book a hotel. Uh, they want to know instantly that that is available to them. With that said, for some customers, we understand it's not physically possible for them to be instantly available to accept a booking. So there is another option uh, where you can have a 24-hour confirmation period uh, by which to accept or decline a booking. We have a multi-unit compa compatibility. I have a little difficulty with that word there. I do apologize. Uh, compatibility, which essentially means that we can accommodate uh, lodging and boutique hotels and bed and breakfast. Uh, customers that may have one property with many different rooms that need multiple calendars, um, that's something that we can definitely do for you. And also we have dedicated account managers. So when a customer is coming on board with Canada Stays, they are assigned a specific account manager that is there at the end of a phone for them or an email, whichever you know, is a better way of, of connecting. Uh, to help them with any issues or questions, whatever might arise. And there is a secure payment uh, system in place uh, in these days of, of internet fraud. It's always nice to know that. Yep, uh, when a credit card is put through on the Canada Space uh, system, it is completely secure. We do have a very extensive uh, fraud department that is also there uh, to look out for your needs. And the next slide essentially kind of gives you a little bit of a look at the network that you are part of when you do sign up with Canada States, as you can see from this slide. Uh, there are all of the home away family sites uh, on there. Also, we're now creating micro sites, uh, such as with Cottage Life at the moment. At the moment. And what a micro site is, to kind of give you a little bit of an insight to that, it's essentially a white label experience where a client can utilize Canada Space technology, but also have a more branded experience for themselves. So they can kind of put their own name out there on volume using Canada Space stuff. And also, we do have flexible pricing plans for, uh, for any customers that want to sign up with Canada Space. Uh, currently, there is a paper booking option. Uh, this costs absolutely nothing up front to put your property onto the site or properties. Uh, if you're a property manager with multiple properties, uh, there is a, the way that Canada says uh, recuperates our fees from that. There's an 8% owner fee that is taken on each booking that is set, accepted through our online booking platform. That's one thing that is very important to know. Uh, if you are going to sign up with Canada says, you must be able to accept bookings through our online booking platform. The other option is our paper subscription option. And with the paper subscription option, it's $4.99 for the year, one price, and that's it. You do not pay any percentages in the owner fees uh, above and beyond that. Uh, the annual subscription I do want to add is for each property that you this it would be $4.99 per property. With that said, if you have you know, upwards of 10 properties, 
feel free to contact Canada Studies. Uh, myself, Steve Marshall, the Sales Manager for New Business, and I'll be happy to answer any questions about putting together a package to potentially all of your inventory on. And that's just about it for me, which I'm sure you're happy to hear. Uh, so I'm going to pass you over to my colleague, Lauren Thompson, who's going to discuss integrations. Hi, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Just uh, give me two minutes of your time to quickly go over the uh, software connect connectivity that we have with Booking Sync. So we have a full integration built. Um, so that means that all of your listing data will be coming over from your Booking Sync account. So it'll be a property sync with your descriptions, photos, and amenities, et cetera, it was a live quote, which uh, gives us the most accurate and up-to-date quote. Um, so just a quick note, any changes that you want to see on your Canada Stays account, it must be made at the source, which is going to be your Booking Sync account. So everything, if you log into your Canada Stays account, it's going to show up as locked because if you were able to go in and make changes, it would be overridden by the feed. Um, so just next slide, a little bit of information on the best ways to connect with us. Um, two simple steps. First is install the Canada Stays app in your Booking Sync app center. And second, shoot us an email at listmyproperty list at canadastays.com. Just make sure to include your name, email, phone number, and the number of properties in your locations. Uh, we also have a nice little sweet deal going on. Um, you get $150 site credit uh, when you connect with us before June 8th, which I believe is next Friday. Um, and just reference the word webinar. So now we have a little bit of time for q and I think there's only a couple people online right now. Um, but yeah, feel free. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Any questions, anyone? Or? No, I'm good. Thank you. Beautiful. Thanks for joining us. Okay, well, Ralph doesn't have any question either. I think we are good. Uh, thanks, Lauren, for your time and this great presentation. Thanks, Stephen and Aisha as well. Um, so this uh, webinar will be online on, on our YouTube channel soon. So any new uh, customer can also watch it, uh, even if he didn't attend um, today. Thanks for your time and I wish you a very pleasant end of day.